Good afternoon. I'm Chris Raggi. Mary Calvi is off on this Good Friday. We begin with the fight against Islamic terrorists. The Pentagon believes the second in command of ISIS was killed by U.S. airstrikes in Syria. Defense Secretary Ash Carter identified the terrorist as Haji Imam. And more raids in Brussels where explosions were heard. Prosecutors say three people have been arrested. And we've learned a Manhattan brother and sister were killed in Tuesday's attacks. Alexander and Sasha Pinchowski were at the airport for their flight back to New York City. For the rest of the information on the day here, CBS 2's Janelle Burrell. Janelle. Well, Chris, as we get that news right now, major raids are underway in a Brussels neighborhood that was a hideout for those suicide bombers. This morning, witnesses reported seeing a man with a long rifle shot down, injured by police. Investigators right now still trying to track down the remaining suspects. Police saturating this Brussels neighborhood this morning. Witnesses hearing explosions and gunfire as investigators continue the manhunt for two additional suspects from Tuesday's attacks. One of the men they're looking for, seen here in a black hat in the Brussels airport before the bombings. Pictured next to him, Najim Lashraoui and Ibrahim Al Bakri, the suicide bombers who investigators say triggered the deadly blasts. Lashraoui is believed to be the bomb maker in the Paris attacks. And Belgian police say El Bakri's younger brother, Khalid, detonated a bomb at the Brussels subway station on Tuesday. Their brothers were both on a U.S. terrorism watch list. We will not be intimidated. We will not be deterred. Secretary of State John Kerry in Brussels this afternoon with Belgium's Prime Minister pledging support while sending this message to the attackers. And we will come back with greater resolve, with greater strength, and we will not rest until we have eliminated your nihilistic beliefs and cowardice from the face of this earth. His visit happening as U.S. officials confirm that brother and sister Alexander and Sasha Pinzowski, Dutch citizens living in New York City, were both killed in the airport. The siblings were on the phone with their mother when the bombs went off. Now, Belgian officials lowered their terror thre threat level yesterday, but say another attack is likely. Now, in addition to his meeting with the Belgian Prime Minister, John Kerry is also meeting with European Union leaders to discuss security in the wake of the attacks. Chris? Janelle, thank you.